I've said it before and I'll say it again. Our future is cold. It's the history of climate change, back and forth, and I know most of you have seen our movie on this topic from almost half a decade ago. If you haven't seen it, it's linked below with the rest of the climate playlist and is highly recommended. But the top story from this morning's show was incredible, not only for its implications in climate change, but because it is exactly what we have been discussing for years. The Atlantic meridional overturning circulation has long been discussed to be at risk of collapse. Now, they're seeing it happen in real time. And if you're not keeping diligently up to date with the scientific field, let me tell you, they are panicking. Did you ever think you'd see this from the Weather Channel? Not only discussing the event, but admitting that it can only lead to cold, like in the movie The Day After Tomorrow, where Earth is rapidly flung back into an ice age. Now, in truth, it won't be as extreme or rapid as in that movie, which takes only a couple of days, but it will certainly erase global warming and bring about something close to the little ice age of 400 years ago. I still expect the World Economic Forum and most of the propaganda machine of global governments and scientists to keep plugging away on their green agenda, but the veil is lifting, and for many scientists, the inevitable has become too obvious to ignore. For those who don't know, the Earth has been in snowball conditions and hothouse conditions in the past, but it never stays that way. In fact, the extreme swing to one side is what brings about the reversal the other way. When the Earth is too cold, all the water vapor freezes out of the atmosphere, clouds become sparse, and more sunlight is let in, heating the world. But when the Earth gets too hot and melts the polar ice, that chills the oceans while evaporating more water into the atmosphere, and those colder oceans and more clouds from the evaporated water swing us back into cold. That is what's happening now. When the Earth locks the ice at the polar region, we stay warm in the tropics. But when the ice is loosed from the poles, we call that a Heinrich event. They happen about every 6,000 years, and they take a warming world and throw it back towards cold. Beyond this, it is also true that the grand solar maximum of the 1900s is over, and the latent heat dissipation and lagged heating from it is about to end. Also, the record low volcanic activity of the 1900s hadn't been seen for over a thousand years. When those volcanoes kick back up, they will also cool the atmosphere. The oceans, the sun, and the volcanic trends are all going to push us towards cold soon. After the 1900s saw the exact opposite trends from all three. It also doesn't help that the Beaufort Gyre cold freshwater release is imminent. You remember, that's what Yale University called the cold climate bomb waiting to be unleashed. We saw last year that it was readying to do so. Are you ready for this narrative to collapse from the oceans, the sun, and volcanoes? This is probably the biggest climate news of 2024 so far. The day after tomorrow rapid freezing scenario is more likely than global warming, and it's already beginning to happen. I'll see you in the morning for The Daily Show. Be safe, everyone.